nutrition no one prize. Most people call me Dr. Mats, but you can call me Thomas A. Today, I come here to, today I started my journey by eating a regimen of proper diet. I had seaweed, chicken, eggs, yogurt, and Proper regimen of diet will last until 2072. Until 2072, until I'm here, 43 years old. Before I get to all my inventions, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm 81 years old, and I'm 81 years old. I'm born June 28, 1928. I know I'm old, but I hope to live until 2072. Now, growing up in Japan was pretty tough. Japan is a country where radical changes are occurred from time of birth. A place to find, like, a place, like that place is a home place to find someone like me. How did you get started in all of your inventing? Well, like, I had many different subjects. My mom taught me many different subjects. Chemistry, English, humor, and physics. I did. Most credit to my parents, but I did graduate from the most difficult university in Japan, so I must give myself some credit. I studied at the Tokyo Imperial University. I had to meet out over 12,000 people to get a spot in there. After Tokyo Imperial University, I went to law school, and there, I always think that inventors should have a non-scientific and scientific approach to everything. My invention process is probably the most bizarre thing about me. I, I go on the water and without an oxygen tank and nearly drown myself until an idea pops up in my head. And just 0.5 seconds before the flash, I get the idea and write it down on my special flexi glass and I also Most of my famous inventions are the CD, the DVD, and the basic development of the floppy disk. Back then, the floppy disk isn't as important as it is today, but back then it was, all, it was the most efficient way of transporting data from one place to another. Today, we use CDs. For CDs are lightweight, they carry a lot of data, and they're very easy to mass produce. Floppy disks, were the first method of probably just were the first method of portable storage devices that were the easiest to mass produce and they encourage things like CDs and DVDs. One of my most famous inventions was the CD and DVD. I, my claim to fame started with Two million copies of copy worldwide, and today they remain one of the most.
another one of my most famous inventions that will probably never be known to you guys because it's really only in Japan is my engine that runs solely on water. I don't think most people appreciate what I'm trying to do by making the world a better and safer place. But to wrap this up, I would just like to say that, in, that even though I live in Japan, I want to see everybody grow as a country. I, want to, I think everybody thinks that borders between nations are too strong. And by breaking down these borders, you can talk to people about breaking down these borders, and we can all find this one. Again, I'm Yoshia Nakamatsu. I'd like to thank you guys for attending my talk. Thank you guys for attending my